This is a full mark GCSE further maths exam question. Now, why is that? Because it's just changing the subject, right? Well, there's a few places where people get tripped up. And also, just looking at it, it looks difficult. People just, they a bug when they see the square root. Well, firstly, how do we undo a square root? Bro, we just square. So first thing is I'm going to square both sides. That gets rid of the square root to leave me with 3xy over x plus y is equal to, now I've squared this side, so that's giving me 16. All right, already I've got rid of half the pain. Cool. Next thing is, I want to make y the subject, but it's trapped in this denominator. So let me multiply up by that denominator to leave me with 3xy is equal to 16 multiplied by my x plus y. Make sure that's in brackets. All right, well, next logical thing is to expand this, right? So 3xy is equal to 16x plus 16y. Uh, now, next thing is, this is where it gets a little bit harder. Because we want to make y the subject, but it appears in two terms, we need those terms on the same side of the equation. So I'm going to take away 16y from both sides. So we've got uh, 3xy minus my 16y is equal to 16x. Okay, a bit closer, but y is still in two places. So to get it in one place, I factorize out y. So y is my factor, and then I multiply by 3x minus 16 and that's equal to my 16x. And last thing is, we want y, but we don't want it multiplied by this bracket. So we divide both sides by the bracket to leave us with the y on this side that we want, equal to our 16x that was here, divided by this bracket, so 3x minus 16. And we've just made y the subject, and that was a genuine four-mark past exam question from Level 2 Further Maths.